Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. When you teach your puppy leave it, your puppy will stop biting your hands, ankles, and feet. Leave it can be a life-saving exercise and I'm gonna tell you a story of a golden retriever whose life was saved because she knew the word leave it. We offer you positive, effective training tips to help you train your dog. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please press the subscribe button and ring the bell to receive all the episodes. Leave it is such an important exercise to teach your puppy. In my puppy classes for years, we taught our puppies leave it. One of my students came in to me the following week after we taught leave it and said, thank you for teaching me leave it. It saved my puppy's life. Molly, a very wonderful four-month-old golden retriever, was downstairs with her owners exploring their new house that they had just purchased. And she came out from behind the furnace carrying a pellet, a blue-green pellet, like you see here in the picture. This is rat poisoning. She was behind the furnace and she was chewing on this pellet. The owner, immediately said, Molly, leave it. And fortunately, Molly dropped the pellet. He called poison control because of Molly's weight and the small amount that she had eaten of the pellet, Molly was okay. Molly lived a long, long life. Thankfully, she knew the word, leave it. And here is a picture of a golden retriever puppy in my classes learning leave it. This is not Molly, but a very similar puppy learning the exercise leave it. We're going to teach your puppy leave it. Leave it means never touch it. So I'm not gonna say leave it and then take it. Leave it means don't touch it no matter what it is, whether it's a treat or a sock or the kid's homework or a dead bird. Once you say leave it, you want your dog to back away, come to you, never touch the item. If it's in their mouth, you want them to drop it. So I use a treat, the leave it treat, something that is not as good as the treat that I'm going to feed my dog. I'm going to hold the treat that I don't want my dog to touch in my fist and I have the other treat, the one I'm gonna feed, in my hand behind my back. Nikki, leave it. She can explore it, try to get it, anything she wants to do. When she backs away from it, I'm gonna click and I'm gonna feed her. Now you don't have to click, you could say yes, or you don't have to click or say yes at all. But what I've found is, after years of training Leave It, that by adding the click or the yes, it just helps the puppy to realize the instant that they're backing away. Now your puppy might be mugging your hand and mouthing it. Let them do it. The instant they back away, you are going to click and feed them. So we're gonna do it again. Nikki, Leave It. She's backing away, she's not touching it, and I'm gonna feed her. Just like you see the little shepherd puppy backing away in this picture. This was just a, a few minutes of working on Leave It, and this puppy was backing away and staying away from the person's hands. When a dog learns Leave It with your hand closed, the second step is to open your hand. You'll see here the picture of the dachshund with the person's hand open. Dog is not coming forward. That's what we want. But in the beginning to teach it, when you first open the hand, if your puppy comes forward, I want you to snap it closed so that the puppy cannot get the treat. When they back away, you open it again. If the puppy stays away, that's when you click and feed. Let's try it. Nikki. Leave it. Nikki's not touching it. So I'm gonna to click 
and I'm gonna feed her. That is with your hand open. Take your treat and keep it back by your leg so that it's easier for your puppy, not quite in front of their nose. And you're gonna say to your puppy, Nikki, leave it. And you're getting a little lower down to the ground. Your puppy's not touching it. You're gonna click and you're gonna feed. All the way down to your ankles. She's not touching it. And I'm gonna feed her from the other hand. If she comes forward, we close our hand. Try opening it up again. She's not touching it. And we're gonna feed. Lay it on the ground. She's not touching it. And I'm gonna feed her. Leave it is a great exercise for your kids to work with their puppy. Here is a little boy working with Leave It with his chocolate Labrador Retriever. Look at this Pomeranian puppy. Leave it and the puppy is not touching the treat on the ground. This is what you want to do to teach your dog Leave It. A great way to use Leave It is when your puppy is outside and picks up a stick or something that you don't want them to have in their mouth. Take the treat right to their mouth and say, leave it. And when they drop the item, you reward them by giving them a treat. So what does this have to do with teaching your puppy leave it when they are biting your ankles or biting your hand? Well, in puppy class, what we did next was we would, when our puppies understood leave it, we would take our hand, empty hand, and put near our puppies. And as they were sniffing the hand, we would say to them, leave it. And when they backed away, we wouldn't say leave it, leave it, leave it. Just say it once. And when they back away, you're gonna immediately click and feed. Nikki, leave it. And I'm gonna feed her. And this way your puppy is learning when you say leave it on your hand, they're gonna back away. We're able to put the treat on the ground and our puppies not touch it in puppy class, then we would start to work with items that you have around the house. We always started with a spoon because that was the least interesting to most puppies. Just put the spoon on the ground and if the puppy go ahead, went ahead and picked it up, we would take the treat right to their mouth and say, leave it. I'll let Nikki investigate it. And then we're gonna say, Nikki, leave it. And we're gonna get Nikki to come away from the spoon. Nikki, leave it. And now while she's away from it, we're gonna reward her. So spoons are not that interesting. Good girl, nice job. But it is a start and it's what we always started with. Here is a sock, and we're gonna put it on the ground, and we're gonna say, Nikki, leave it, and we're gonna reward her for leaving it. So can you see if someone was walking around in their socks that on the word, leave it, your puppy just might back away from the ankles and feet. And we did the same thing with shoes, so that maybe you're not wearing the shoe, but your puppy learned to leave it when your shoe was on the ground. This is what we taught in my puppy class for years, to stop puppy biting ankles and feet. Here is a puppy who's really learned leave it. Bowl of popcorn on the table, kids eating, and the puppy is not touching it. This is what leave it can do for your puppy. Leave it one of the most important exercises you can ever teach your puppy. If you'd like to know more about teaching your puppy leave it, there's a video above on teaching leave it under your shoe and also the playlist on puppy biting. Remember to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you receive all the episodes. Bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.